Hey YouTube, back with another tutorial. This one's a bit of a change of pace from my particle stuff because I never remember how to build this shader, so I'm building it for me, really, and um, I've never found another tutorial on how to do this. So what spawned this tutorial, well, most recently, was we had a shot where the client wanted text to wrap around a cylinder, so we match moved the shot and there was this pillar in the shot that they wanted text to wrap around so the easiest way to do that was going to be to just animate a projection node in Maya so that way when they wanted to change it the next day we could do that easier than making an animated texture so my process was to build a shader and go map your file to color and right clicking on file use create as a projection and then over on image you can browse for your image which I created this and it's black and white um, which this one doesn't matter once we get to the transparency it, it should be black and white but you would think that you could just use this image with embedded alpha and it would work but it doesn't because Maya is fun like that. So let's um, maximize our shader here. And if we go in and we find our projection node and we place it where we want it. Great. It's perfect. And we assign our shader. Go over, hit render the first problem we have is everything is repeating which we don't want we just want one so to fix that in our shader here um, under the color image there's a place 2d node select that guy and there's wrap u wrap v and that will get rid of the repetition but now we got this gray chunk and if we check our alpha you know the whole cylinders there we only want to see the text so in our match move what's behind it is what we filmed so to get that going let's go in our shader and connect a transparency file create as projection again um, and it's important that this one is black and white it does not have an alpha like I said before it's just the same um, clicking this button will organize your stuff a little better but like I said before this does not have an alpha in it it's just black and white um, which Maya will understand since it's transparency um, black and white it gets it so I built it like you'd want to build an alpha typically black you can't see it white you can but that's not how this particular shader works so if you select your image used for transparency go down to effects you can select the invert so now it's backwards but if we hit render and you know it's not actually looking too bad but it's should be white anyway let's go fix our repeating stuff first turn that off and check that out see it's still it's not lining up and that's because we have two projection nodes which you could just match the position of this parent it and animate one but that's for chumps so we're going to delete the transparency projection node go back into our shader we just got rid of that other guy and with our remaining one it'll say it right here if you hover over this noodle it'll say world inverse matrix connected to placement matrix um, I'm not sure what that means but that's what you need to remember so with that selected, if you middle mouse drag it onto the transparencies projection node over here, let go, go down to other, 
and dig for your inverse matrix down here connected to placement matrix. What that's going to do is use this single one to project both images. So now you only have one to deal with. So if I go here render, hey, we're getting somewhere. Um, and if you look back here, it's projecting on the back side of your geometry. Um, I haven't found an awesome way to get rid of that. So what I will typically do is take whatever geometry I'm using, duplicate it, um, usually center pivot, just to make scaling easier and just scale it down a little bit and what you can do is put a black hole shader on it what that does is basically it blocks everything out and turns it into an alpha channel so to do that you can create any shader you want blends work Lambert's work um, what's important is down here is at matte opacity it has to be black hole so make sure the right one selected right click and assign material to selection so now if I go and render again we're only seeing the front this time great but we have this ugly gray junk still there check my alpha it's you know half transparent so you know that's still not what we want so to fix that organize my shaders here we go into our, the image we used as a transparency texture if you find under color balance there's default color we're going to want to change this to white because we want in the image white to disappear if we turn it to black it's not right so let's turn it to white so now in here go and render again and there you go you have an alpha channeled transparency texture there's my alpha channel and my color because I have no lights that's why it's changing color so the benefit of this is now instead of making an animated texture or unwrapping your geometry which you'd have to do for animated texture you just have this thing you can slap on there move it around like you want and you know it'll conform to the shape so it's just really fast to change.